I'm going to start a series of videos for beginner rod builders. In this video series, I'm going to be zoomed in pretty close and I will go slow so hopefully everybody can see the details. I'm going to start on this first video with how you do a basic wrap. If you have any questions about anything, just leave them in the comments below. And now let's get started. There are a lot of different ways you can start a guide wrap. You can start like I am doing here just by crossing over your thread and making a tag in that way. You can spiral your thread around the rod like I also show here. You can tape it down once you get it spiraled onto the rod. I'm not taping this one down. I'm just holding it with my fingers and when you see a little tension loss on that spiral it's because I'm also holding the thread wrap itself with tension with another finger hopefully you can see that on the video if that spiral was taped down to the blank you really wouldn't have to worry about this coming loose like that so if you're just getting started you might want to tape that down as you get your wrap started if you look below you'll see that I'm moving my thread carriage to the left a little bit to create a little bit of an angle on the thread so that as I wrap the thread is pulling against itself. The reason I do that is because it'll help keep my wraps tight as I'm going and I won't have to spend as much time moving the thread around after the fact in order to close out the small gaps between the threads. And I would suggest a minimum of three turns in order to lock your tag in down. If you want to do more, like five or whatever amount you want to do, that's fine. The further you go, the further your tag in will leave a bump under your wrap on the dirty side of the wrap. We call it the dirty side. That's the side where the tag ends are at. And that usually would be on the rod if you're holding it in your hand the way you would fish with it. It would be on the bottom side. That way you don't see it while you're actually using the rod. I'm just using my fingernail here to straighten up this leading edge of this wrap. And if you straighten and tighten up your wraps as you go, you'll be better off for it in the long run. What I mean by tightening up your wraps is pushing the threads closer together to close out any gaps between the wraps as you go. On this particular wrap, I'm using the angle that I mentioned previously where the thread is coming off the thread carriage onto the rod blank. I'm using that angle to help keep my thread pulled up tight against itself as I continue my wrap. So that really cuts down on the amount of clean up or packing I have to do as I go. I'm going to snip off this tag in now that I've got plenty of turns on this wrap to hold it in place and I'll continue on with this wrap. I do want to stop for a second and just show you that angle I mentioned previously a couple times to give you a rough idea of how you want the thread pulling back against itself. Then I'll continue the wrap until I get to a point where I'm getting close to where I want to terminate the wrap. If I want it to stop, I need to stop and put a pull through loop in several turns ahead of where I want my wrap to end. I usually do somewhere around 10 or so wraps on top of my pull through loop because I like to cut my tag in short and pull it completely under the wraps. That way I don't have to mess with a tag end sticking out when I'm done. A lot of people don't like that method. That's the way I choose to do it. It saves a few steps if you can do it that way and you don't have any chance of nicking your wrap with a razor blade or anything like that and having to start all over again. But I've done it both ways. I can do it both ways. It really doesn't matter. It's like I said before, what works for you is the only thing that matters. Now that I've got my pull through wrapped over several times, I'm going to apply some pressure at the end of my wrap so that when I cut the thread in order to pull it through the pull through loop, it's not gonna loosen up my wrap. So I'm just holding downward pressure against the blank to pinch that wrap off at the end so it doesn't unravel on me. Then I cut my thread and put the tag in through the pull through loop. Now so I can let go of the blank, I'm gonna pull pressure on the end of the wrap, the tag in, pulling it down so that still prevents the wrap from unwrapping. And tighten it up by pulling the pull through loop under the wrap and butting that tag end up or even slightly pulling it under the wrap. At that point, I can release the pressure that I was holding the end of the wrap with and it won't come unraveled on me now.
Now I can snip that tag in really close to the wrap and pull it under the wrap. That pretty much completes the wrap. If you need to do any straightening up or packing threads at that point, you can go ahead and do that. But that's the basic gist of how you do a wrap. That's about as basic as it can get, but people that are just starting out need to know how to do these things. And I was hoping that this might provide a good visual aid and a thorough explanation of how you do a basic wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If anybody has any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will talk to y'all later.